put down that Fraps or DX Tori because you're never going to need it again. This is a tutorial for recording your screen, live streaming your screen. That's a tongue twister. Playing games and recording it, live streaming games and re recording it even if you wanted. This is Open Broadcaster sis software, not sister or system, whatever I was going to say. This is a live streaming software but can be used for recording. I am doing it now. This program was recommended to me by Etheron369, who has been in a couple of my videos, so I'm sure you guys know him by now, but he recommended it for when I was switching from XSplit to this software. Uh, and it's very good. It's free. I'll show you right here. You can get it. OBSproject.com. Link in the description. It is completely free. Basically, click download, and it'll automatically find the package that suits you, and you are good to go. And then, once you are done with that, you are going to want to basically just get it and I'm gonna go through my settings they're not necessarily the perfect settings but um, this is what I'm using to do this so I have it set so I can do a custom buffer size of zero uh, quality to 10 and you know broadcaster I have it set to file out point put instead of live stream and the location which as you can see the files being recorded here in my YouTube folder um, and then I have some hotkeys set up In the video I have it set to 1080p 16 by 9 ratio uh, just so I can have a nice 16 by 9 ratio screen for YouTube with no black boxes or anything you know post editing stuff uh, I got my speakers and mic set up which I'm using a Corsair Vengeance 1500 headset very good headset um, I didn't really mess with any of these uh, there's some microphone noise gate which I actually need to get into because I have a lot of background noise okay anyways from there you basically can you know preview your stream which would just show you what will pop up just like this and you can edit things these are the sources you can add windows monitors an image slideshows text video captures uh, from like an Elgato or something game captures from like a Minecraft game but uh, I'm using monitor capture as an example here and I have two monitors so you can have it so that it pops up and just so you can see that you can edit your stuff this is the second monitor I have which is a 1080p by default screen and this is where I'm programming my little game called marshmallow man it's nothing special it's very laggy and I'll just post a video about that later but yeah I'm programming it in Java in case you're interested but yeah you can do a lot of things with this and I have it set up to record but yeah it's a free little recorder a lot of people ask you know do you use fraps or how do you record gameplay and I use fraps but now I'm using this because it's just awesome so highly recommend it uh, very easy setup and I mean the file size is very nice and uh, you can see how long you've gone here on the thing how many frames you've dropped what your FPS is so many good things that's really nice I like it um, I just really hope that I'm not like streaming to twitch while I do this because that would be embarrassing because that goes to my Twitter so <laughs> if you're watching this you get a little sneak peek of the video. Let's actually see that. I don't know. You guys are about to see my Twitch page. Um, here it is. Let's pray that I'm not streaming to Twitch right now. Probably not. Oh, no. I'm kidding. What just happened? I don't know. Programming something. And good. We're offline. So, as you can see, it works. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And you can just flick things on and off. It's very cool. And check this out. You guys need to use Spotify. Yeah, I just, I'm overdoing the video now, but use Spotify. It's a great music platform. Free, too. Anyways, thanks for watching.